Hi, okay, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of uh, setting up uh, the nice Google Checkout plugin for Joomla 1.5 and above. And uh, we're going to just check out how to install it, get it set up, and uh, how, to, how to set up your first item for listing. So here we go. Uh, first thing you want to do is log into your Joomla uh, administration area. And then we're going to go ahead and go over here to Extensions, Install and Uninstall. From there, we're going to say choose file and we're going to find the uh, nice Google Checkout plugin that we uh, downloaded earlier. Push my view here. There we go. And there it is. I'm going to say open. And now we're going to say upload file and install. And there we go. So we've got the button pretty much installed. Now what we need to do is uh, configure it. And since it's not a component, you won't find any information here regarding it. What you need to do is come over to Extensions, Plugin Manager, and it's a system plugin. So we can go ahead and sort the list by system. And there it is. Nice Google Checkout plugin. So what we need to do is come in here and say Enable. And then you need to enter your Google Checkout Merchant ID, which you can get from your Google Checkout account. Uh, generally speaking, it will be up here in the right-hand corner when you're logged into your Google Checkout Merchant account. So we'll enter in our Google Merchant ID, and if you have a Sandbox account set up for testing, you can go ahead and enter in your Sandbox account as well. Um, we're going to set it to testing mode for on, uh, and in that way we can go ahead and uh, feel safe that we're not going to actually conduct any um, any actual transactions while while we're setting this up. So uh, in the meantime, we'll go ahead and leave all this stuff uh, at its default, uh, and you can come in later when you feel comfortable and change it to the settings that you'd like to change it to. Uh, once we've got that done, we're going to say save, and we're going to come over to content and article manager. Now, the way the nice Google Checkout uh, plugin works is that it uses Joomla's um, article system for organizing the products and that kind of stuff. Um, it uses the, uh, the the article management system for uh, all the product listings. And basically you can think of that as like, say the sections here uh, are basically your store departments. Uh, you can set up categories for, um, you know, other things like uh, the various different sections within the product area. Um, so for example, if you set up sections as uh, sporting goods, and your categories, you could say, uh, you know, fishing rods or fishing reels or whatnot. And then your article pages are going to be actually your um, your actual product listing pages. So we're going to set up a new article. We're going to say new, and we're going to give it a title. And we'll just put it in news for now. And we're going to put it at the front page so we can find it easy. You put in your product description if you want. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Now, the cool thing about the nice Google Checkout plugin system is that you can put multiple items on a, on a page if you choose to, or you can have each page have its own item. So now we're gonna go ahead and bring over the, uh, put a tag in to create the button. Okay, here's the tag. Oops, here's the tag syntax. So we can take a look at that. And I got that out of the documentation page. Um, now I'm gonna grab the uh, product tag. And something to keep in mind, if you're copying and pasting from an HTML page, you can get formatting text in here that could uh, mess up your form, uh, the, the tag and it won't render correctly. So you wanna make sure and either manually type it in or copy and paste it in the notepad first and then copy it out to your text editor. Cause you won't actually see the HTML form formatting tags they'll just uh, you know mess up the tag when you actually go to render it on the front page so I'm, I'm using the default uh, example from the um, from the documentation here and you can read more about that on that page I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and we're gonna say apply now we're gonna go look at the front page and see how that worked out for us and we're going to refresh and there's our product listing we got a nice little cart here. We can add products to it. There we go. Or we can close it down. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Enjoy the, uh, the nice Google Checkout plugin.